Okay, this is a video on um, jailbreaking your iPod Touch, like uh, what you can do after you have jailbroken it and like how it is worked and stuff. Uh, so, because uh, I've had some questions and stuff about it. So, um, I'm pretty, I'm going to go to Cydia, uh, and then I've had some really weird questions about Cydia, and it usually takes about five seconds to load. Um, and then first, before I start off, uh, I've had some questions, uh, like from my friends and stuff at school, uh, if jailbreaking is legal. Um, yes, it is legal, um, unless you get, like, a certain software, uh, that, like, you can, uh, um, get free apps and stuff. Uh, some softwares are illegal, and songs and stuff like that. So... Um, but other than that, if you do a normal uh, jailbreak, uh, like I showed you in my video, you're perfectly fine, and it's legal and everything, in every single way. Um, but, uh, so, it is legal and everything, so the first thing uh, is, uh, how do you use city and stuff? So, there's different things, like you can go to sections, which is the first one. So, you can, uh, it kind of divides up all the stuff you can get from City into categories. Uh, so, like all packages, data storage, font swap, uh, all you can do with it, soundboards, themes, everything. Uh, tweaks. Uh, that's new. Um, but, like with themes and stuff, uh, you can just get anything and then, like, if you want to get like themes for Springboard, like just in general, it has themes in general, um, and then it has them divided up into like add-ons, uh, apps, battery, carrier, complete, dialer, dock. Oh, and dialers for iPhone. Uh, dock, keyboard, lock screen, another lock screen. Uh, Pogo plank, SB settings, SMS, which is for iPhones, texting. Uh, sounds, springboard, which is like your home screen and stuff, uh, system, videos, weather, widget, and widgets, again. So, uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, so then, like, if you want to download something, you just go to whatever it is, like, tweaks or something. Um, and, like, um, like Satellite or something. You'll just install it, click install, tap on it, click install, and then click confirm. And you'll just wait for that to uh, install. Uh, so like whatever you're downloading, you just wait for it to install, and then a little thing will pop up down here after it's done that will say like return to city or, or sometimes reboot device, um, or uh, restart springboard. Usually those are the three things. I haven't seen another one. Um, so, it pretty much, this is usually what it looks like, so, uh, then this one's Restart Springboard, so I'll just go ahead and click that. That'll take a little bit. Uh, but, again, um, uh, and then, like, whenever you install a theme, it automatically installs Winterboard for you, so you don't have to go around finding, uh, Winterboard on Cydia, in, um, anywhere. So it just automatically installs whenever you install your first theme from Cydia. So, as you can see, my iPod. Oops. Um, and then uh, I'm also going to show some cool apps from Cydia and stuff. Uh, so one is like where uh, you can scroll um, uh, on your dock. You can scroll vertically. Um, and that, that is called InfiniBoard. Uh, I'll put that into the description. Um, so, and you pretty much just can scroll your icons on any page. Um, and then you can also go like that. And then just you'd hold it down to change. And then you just move like wherever you want to move. Uh, so. That's pretty much it for that. Um, and then, so like when you have Winterboard, you just click on Winterboard, <clears throat> and then click Select Themes, and then we'll have all these uh, 
uh, the stuff that you've downloaded plus some extra ones that it comes with. Um, so, uh, like right now I have Dark Apple. Um, so, uh, so that's pretty much Winterboard. Um, and then, um, iFile, which <clears throat> I haven't exactly gotten it to work yet because I can't do it, but you can kind of like change the settings on your iPod and stuff. Um, so those are some basic apps and stuff that you can do. Um, oh, and then also, this one's kind of a fun one. It's called iFake. You can like trick your friends and stuff. This one's not very good. Uh, but, so, like, it looks like your normal home screen if you haven't jailbroken, but then, like, when you touch an icon, it looks like your home screen has been destroyed, and then you can, like, turn it and stuff. So. So, that's pretty much this video. It was pretty much, it was a short video, so. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. So, bye. Hope you enjoyed it.